Hey Leos, welcome back to my Weekly Universe Tarot. We are doing your timeless Buddhist reading for October. If you do not follow me on Instagram, feel free to. I do monthlies over there now by Element, and I'm also starting a new series, Stop Trying to Make It Make Sense, Healing from Narcissistic and Abusive Relationships. If you guys want to go ahead and tap in over there, we talk just uh, defining a little bit of, you know, definitions to what it is that we're going through and then we get into like the warrior of light and then we also do tarot and oracle it's um usually really healing and really to the point um you guys are welcome to come in and share your uh survivor stories in the live chat if you guys choose to um if you guys are looking for personal readings um you could email me or book one through instagram through the dm if you want to look at that that's in the description box below also hosting a 50 subscriber giveaway if you guys are interested in that with my friend Michaela Davis for the Sacro Chakra Oracle deck that will also be in the description box below along with my TikTok. Alright. Okay. Yeah, if I want to be clean, there could be a um could be dealing with a fire sign here, uh Leo Sag and Aries, or this could be your energy. You're um passing some type of um test here. Um some type of cycle is coming to an end. Um Maybe you're ending some type of cycle with indecision here. You're definitely setting your course to something that could possibly lead you to something very um, stable financially here. Or just um, stabilizing certain aspects of your life. <clears throat> but I want to say you're very isolated, very much in a single energy here. With choices under the deck, you do feel somebody might be restraining you or you may feel like you are overwhelmed with options Leo and you feel stuck and stagnant because of it it could be that maybe you had a, a, a certain particular person in mind somebody that you were kind of grooming yourself for waiting for and now um, with the lead the way here it's like now you have multiple offers and they all seem great but with the choices here seven of cups energy remember not all um not all choices are good choices there are good choices there are bad choices and there are like half-assed choices there's half-assed um scenarios here that are definitely um showing up for you um you need to choose wisely is kind of what i'm getting here clarify i want to be queen mm-hmm you have the two of cups here and the six of pentacles you had the choice of picking a soulmate um that is stable and one that's probably um unbalanced here it could have been that somebody had two choices right and one was mentally unstable and one was financially unstable but with pa passing the test here it's like only one of them is high vibrational and usually the one that has their emotions under control is usually the higher vibrational one because if you're dealing with somebody who's still like in victim mentality or somebody who continues to uh, throw you under the bus or blame you for the injustices and problems in their life, their finances, uh, you, they could be draining your finances, they could be draining your, um, your energy here. Whatever it is, it's like... It's almost like the universe has pointed out to you, Leo, that they want you with anybody else but this person that's emotionally immature, that's emotionally unavailable, that's emotionally distraught and distressed. Clarify, um, follow your own good advice. Uh -huh, you have the Six of Swords here. You're being led and guided out of here. You could be dealing with um, an Aquarius here, a Taurus or a Cancer. If you're dealing with the Taurus or a Libra, this person's stable. If you're dealing with the Cancer, that person's emotionally distraught. If you're dealing with a um, Aquarius, this person is also not in the best um, mental stability. Anyway, so that's why you're being led and guided out of this situation. This person has brought you... Um, through choppy waters many a times again and with the two sixes right here I feel like 
you know that you're being led and guided to true love here uh, uh, so long as you allow yourself to receive it if you allow yourself to be open to it because this person i think that's waiting for you on the other side of the ending with this because look it's funny because you have death here and then you have justice here and both of them are just very similar it's like a male and the female energy of an ending and transformation justice is going to be served regardless because these two have to separate yeah with the queen of swords here that's there that's your solitary energy right now leo because you see your ships coming in elsewhere and it may have taken a long time to um understand why this had to end but it's because you're no longer in this um, low vibrational energy. You're more analytical about your choices. You you know how to cut out bullshit. You've transformed. Meanwhile, this person doesn't want to. This person wants to continue um, in this self-sabotaging energy. And you don't want to participate anymore. So the universe hears you loud and clear. So they're going to remove them even if you decide... Um, it's like the more you cling on to this, the longer that you're holding on to something that does not serve you. Therefore, postponing what is. Clarify this two of cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, waiting here. Some of you guys are going through a separation here. Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who's married. Clarify the six of cups. I mean, the six of pentacles. You have the messenger here. If you're dealing with the Capricorn, you're going to find out that um, you are definitely being juggled here. Um, there could be some energy of like um, being invited to, to a wedding here. Leo. Or somebody could be like, you could have a really shallow ex that like invites you to like a baby shower or something like that. I don't know. That's if you're dealing with a Capricorn though. Possibly a Cancer. But <clears throat> if you were dealing with a Cancer that was, mar that was married, then this person, yeah, is about to do some petty shit like that. Anyways, uh, clarify the Six of Swords. Yeah, I've just bear here. You know that this person is unhappy in their situation, wherever it is that they're committed at, or whether this is you committed in a in a in a faulty marriage here, and you're juggling Leo. It's like at the end of the day, you're going to be in the solitary energy if you want to heal and transform and see your ships coming in. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Yeah, have hope and conversation. The challenge is that there's somebody overthinking the situation. There's a lot of conversation that brings hope to this situation, Leo, and proper action needs to be taken at a proper time or this is going to fall apart. And you know what's best for you. So if you want to continue dibble and dabbling with the low vibrational soulmate or a karmic or keep um dealing with somebody who's married or keep dealing with somebody who who has commitments elsewhere that keeps leaving you in despair the longer you're postponing this conversation that you're hoping and praying for here and that's the challenge basically going on here let me see final messages here from kalima Yeah, face your fears, for it is the right time, and you are ready to overcome them. You will be given the power to fulfill your heart's desires. Embrace your path with confidence. Healing around belonging and abundance is taking place within your soul. You are spiritually protected from toxic energies. Recognize your inner divine badass and commit to your dreams with conviction. Leo. You need to understand that you getting away from this toxic person, whether it's a family member, a friend, or um, 
or a, um, a relationship is what's going to give you the confidence to continue healing and seeing that you actually do belong somewhere else and where you belong is full of abundance and that healing is taking place in the 5d on a cellular level and a soul level so that you could be spiritually protected which allows you to actually embrace your yourself on a deeper level that's why you need to go into this solitary energy with the queen of swords because what you're wishing for is coming towards you but you need to stop doubting that this toxic energy is supposed to linger in your life because they are actually not part of your of your dreams here and you know it and you need to commit yourself to this conviction all right that's what i have for you guys leo and i hope this helps